To create this design, I am going to add a cylinder and I will go with the 32 words. Then scale the cylinder along the Z axis. Then shift A, mesh, add a cylinder. And this time you need to add a 16 word cylinder. And then rotate the cylinder into 90 degree. And then scale down the cylinder in this way. And then scale it along the X axis. Move it along the Z axis. And here you need to adjust the scale little bit. Then duplicate the cylinder. Then select this cylinder. And shift Q. And use the intersect boolean operation. Apply the boolean modifier. And then delete this cutter object. You will get this intersection part. Select this cylinder. Select this top face. And move it along the Z axis. Like this. Then select both the objects. And then press Ctrl A and apply the rotation. Now select this object, go to the edit mode, select everything, mesh and symmet rights, take the symmetry. Then delete the one half of the model. Select these words and move them along the X axis in this way. Now you can see the vertical edges are like this. Go to the top view, select these words, use the knife tool and press X and create cut like this. C, X, create cut. And then you can select these edges and dissolve these edges. Then you need to use the knife tool and create cut like this. And then dissolve these edges. Okay, so you will get this kind of Corbis topology. Select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then select this bottom faces and E to extrude them along the Z axis. S, Z and scale it along the Z axis and give the value 0. Then move it along the Z axis like this. Then select these two objects, move them along the Z axis. Select this object and move it along the Z axis in this way. Now select these two objects, Shift Q, use the boolean operation union. Then here we are facing this difficulty. So that's why we need to just adjust the position of the cutter object little bit. That's why I select the cutter object. And then adjust its position little bit so you can avoid that VR shading or artifacts. And now it is looking really well. And here you can see we have got the proper union operation. Then select this mesh and apply the boolean modifier. And then delete the cutter object. Now select everything and press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize to the symmetry. Then use the knife tool and create cut like this. Then go to the object mode, apply the scale, then go to the edit mode, select this edge loop and control B, add bevel on it. Shape factor should be 0.5 and add a 4 segment bevel. Select these words and then press J to connect them. Then dissolve these edges. Select this word and this word merge at last. Then dissolve this edge. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry. Now select these words and move them along the Z axis little bit. Then select everything, press M and merge by distance and double words will get merged. Then use the knife tool and create cut like this. Then select this face and use the insert operation. Then select this edge loop. Select this edge loop. Then select this edge. And control B, add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel. Shape factor should be one. And give the proper bevel width. In this way. Then dissolve this edges. Select this word and adjust its position. Select this word and select this word and then press J to connect it. Then dissolve this edge. Then select this edge loop. And then control B, add bevel on them. Then add two loop cuts here. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cuts. Select this edge and dissolve it. You will get this kind of loop structure. Use the knife tool and create one cut here. Then dissolve this edge. Here I'm going to select this edge loop and I'm going to dissolve it. And I will select this edge loop and I will use the edge slide at there. 
Then select this edge loop and use the set fill on it in this way. Now select everything and mesh and symmetry. Take the symmetry. Select these words and press M and merge by distance. So double words will get merged. Here you are going to get this kind of loop structure. Then add few loop cuts here. Then you can add few loop cuts here. Select everything, mesh and symmetry. Take the symmetry. Select these faces, delete these faces, select this each loop, use the face and then grid fill. Increase the span and adjust the offset. Then same thing at the bottom side. Select this each loop and control B add bevel on it. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Then select the object and hit the control 2 to add the sub D modifier. And shade smooth it. And you will get this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.